Hello and welcome to Five Elements Living. We're in the kitchen with Paula Umel, where I'm going to do very little because this is something that I have not done. I'm looking forward to her making a tincture. So Thank welcome. Thank you, Shelby. Thank you very much for having me. So I'm here just to watch. I can't even assist very much. Oh, but you will. Okay, you will. You'll put you always, yes, you always have good words. So what we're going to talk about today is we're making a tincture that is for female reproductive tract health. And the first herb that we're going to use is stinging nettles. I use stinging nettles in practically every herbal combination that I do mm -hmm. because it's an amazing cell nutritive herb. Mm -hmm. It feeds cellular health with minerals and nutrients and that we And we have need. it locally. And we do, it's all mm -hmm. over my backyard, yay. This is red raspberry leaf. Is there a smell? No, no, no I mean like other leaf, than green, earth. yeah, it just, just smells earth. like, it's red raspberry leaf, it's a uterine tonic, it is a, um, herb that's specific for the reproductive tract, but it's also a really high mineral herb that's great for bones, so we're gonna use that one. And then this is red clover flower. We all know what red clover looks like. This is a blood cleansing herb, but it's also a really good herb for the female reproductive tract, female hormones as well, phytoestrogens. And the combination of the red raspberry leaf and the red clover together enhance fertility. So that is really nice for women who want to enhance fertility and get pregnant. So we've done teas with these before. Mm -hmm. We've yes. done a different version of teas, but this is a tincture. This is a tincture. And so we're going to make difference? Well, a tea is a water extract mm -hmm. and um, in the herbal world we like to call them I am I'm, I'm losing my um, thought process right here, medicinal infusion. So it's an infusion. Mm -hmm. Whereas a tea, a lot of people, you know, they dip their tea bag for two, three minutes and then they get rid of it. So it isn't as strong. Right, it isn't as strong. Okay. An infusion when you make it with water is really extracting the nutrients from the herbs, a water extraction. So this is going to be a vodka extraction mm -hmm. and that extracts a little bit differently and it'll pull different things from the plants at the same time. In a tincture you can also add a little bit of water to it so that you get an alcohol water-based extraction. Mm -hmm. So what I'm gonna do. Well, I just wanna to say too, we're using vodka because it's clear. Mm -hmm. and tasteless. It's, and it's tasteless and it is small batch yes. as well. So there's a cleaner feel to it. So we're not, we're not putting any chemicals into these tinctures whatsoever. So no, clean, I'm very- small batch and vodka because it's cle clear and clean. Right, and okay. we want it for our health. This is health promoting. So I'm very picky about the vodka that, that I use. So just dumping the herbs in. This is so simple to do. Anybody can do this in their own home. They can make their own tinctures. So you just, so these herbs, where can they get the herbs, just in general? Um, here locally, Nature Storehouse, um, Potsdam Food Co-op, mm -hmm. probably the health food store in Messina and um, Ogdensburg, Nature's Way, Natural Way. Yes, yes, Natural Way. So if they don't live uh, where we live, they can go to any um, health food store. Mm -hmm. They could also probably do, I bet you some farmer's markets. Farmer's markets mm -hmm. would have them. A lot of farmer's mm -hmm. markets um, have, they just sell the bags that they have usually made them, or uh, harvested, yep. harvested themselves. Harvested, it's usually about an ounce of the herbs. Um, you can also go online. Mountain Rose Herbs is a great place to get herbal oh, yeah, so stuff. Oh, you could order for. online. Yep, Frontier Herbs. You can find them on Amazon. I always recommend that people go with organic. Always go with organic. Well, especially you're, if you're extracting with vodka, you don't want to be pulling out the pesticides exactly. and the herbicides that are on there because you're going to be taking that in at, at a high rate because when you drink vodka or any kind of clear alcohol, it opens the capillaries, it opens up something. So yes, it pours, you, pulls yeah, things pulls quickly. Things. Okay. So yeah, you want it to be healthy. And if you're making something that's to enhance your health, you don't want to be putting vodka in it that is right. low end vodka and full of chemicals. Mm -hmm. So here or we have- flavored. No, no, flavored. No, no, no flavored vodka. No, no. no. So you just fill it and that's it. If you want to add some water to it, um, just leave some space and add water. And there it is. Push your herbs down in, make sure they are completely covered with the menstruum, the water extract, or the alcohol extract, and then cover your jar. This will set for a month. Where would you store it? I would store it in a cupboard. I usually Dark. put it in my cupboard in my kitchen right near the sink so that when I open the cupboard to get out plates or cups, I just pick it up, shake it, put it back in. Always date it, so you put the date, and then you put what's in it. So raspberry, nettle and clover that way you know exactly what's in it mm -hmm. the exact date mm -hmm. so a month later you can strain it 
So when your kids get under there, they don't think it's going to be a mustard they're going to put on there. Yeah, that's right. And nobody gets into it. Bread. So then in this jar here, I have one that I had prepared ahead of time so that we would have one to strain. So then when the month is up, and if it goes six weeks, if it goes two months, it's not going to be any harm. You just take it, you dump the herbs into, this is a metal strainer and a funnel. Mm -hmm. And then just take something that you can gently push the fluid out of the herbs. Mm -hmm. And if you are making large amounts of a tincture, companies that make it, they have, um, you know, press machines that do this so much more easily. So yeah, so you could buy the tinctures, but you know where this came from, you know what's in it. Yes. And these you know how are, clean it is. Yeah, these are all local herbs, and so I know exactly what's going into it. I know where I got the vodka. I know I bought a nice um, small batch made vodka. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you have your tincture. So you again take it. You can put it in a dropper bottle. So when you have this, this does not go in the refrigerator, just goes in, in the cupboard, in cupboard yep. room temperature. Yep. And then what would you do with this that it, now that it's ready to use? Again, I would date it. Date it for the date that you strained it. Date it for the date I strained it. Okay. Write what's in it, the red raspberry, the clover, and the nettles. Mm -hmm. And then you have it, mm -hmm. put it in your cupboard. Tinctures are good for 10 years easily. And you use it for... Um, female reproductive related concerns. So anywhere from teenagers who are growing their reproductive mm -hmm. organs. Right through your menstrual years. Mm -hmm. It helps to tone the uterus, helps to balance female hormones, helps just to keep the reproductive tract mm -hmm. nourished. Mm -hmm. How much and how often? 30 to 40 drops a day, or 30 to 40 drops at a time, three to four times a day. Do you and put them in water or do you put them under your tongue? You can put them in water. Mm -hmm. I'm one that usually I just grab it and, you know, 30, 40 drops, shoot it down the back of my throat. I've got to where now I know what in a, um, the glass um, syringe that you pull it up with, mm -hmm. what 30, 40 drops look like. Right. I just shoot it down my throat, take a drink of water and move on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But other people it would, would you be use good. more if you're going through a bit of a struggle like if yes. you were having yep. you were having more cramps you were having more mood issues you were having some you know memory issues things like that as you well if somebody was having problems like that like the mood the cramps the PMSing I would tell them to make some chamomile tea mm -hmm. in a medicinal infusion not tea and then I would tell them to put like 30 40 drops in this and maybe put like 20 to 30 drops this is a motherwort tincture that I've made put that in and another tincture that you could put in for it, like particularly cramping, mm -hmm, is mm -hmm. black cohosh. So you'd make the um, chamomile tea, you'd put in your 30, 40 drops of this, and then put in 30 drops of black cohosh. And that would help with the cramping and the blood flow. It will help promote the blood flow in mm -hmm. a nice, steady, even way. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, these are all great ideas. What we'll, we'll do is um, they're, they're posted on uh, Paula's website, my website, and... Um, if they have any questions, or she's very easy to get a hold of, and you can actually even make a personal appointment with you. So, you, if somebody was in questioning what herbs they should use for their bodies, yes, they can actually make an appointment. And okay. along with herbs, I always like to tell people you cannot rely on the herbs to solve like the symptoms that you're having in your life. You need to make lifestyle changes. So that's part of mm -hmm. it that I always counsel people around. Mm -hmm. This particular one here, the motherwort, is something that this would be used during the menstrual years, and this would be used during the moving into the menopausal years, and you could combine it with this for symptoms that people have with menopausal mm -hmm. years, the hot flashes, the memory, um, the mood swings. This is a very nice tincture for women who are moving through those menopausal years. And, and just in, keep it next to you, what I do with mine that you've made me, is I keep them just right next to the vitamins. Absolutely. So you know when to take them. It's right with, with something you're already gonna take. Like it can already be out on the counter. You don't, doesn't get pushed back to the refrigerator where you don't see it. It's, it's right there. where you would normally use them. Yep, so. hands on. Keep it hands on. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.